Good morning. It's good to see each and every one here this morning. It's a great day for Roan County. Uh, my name's Ron Woody. I'm the county executive, and I'd like to welcome each and every one here. Uh, to our Volkswagen Group of America, welcome. <laughs> Deputy Governor Claude Ramsey, uh, Congressman Ch Chuck Fleshman, um, VW developers, engineers, many industrial board members here, our Roan County Commission, uh, many other government leaders. There's too, really too many to uh, identify here, but welcome to the press and to our many friends. It's a great day in Roan County, and it's great to be in the state of Tennessee. The beautiful East Tennessee, a location where you're at the transportation crossroads of America. Welcome to Roan County, a place not only rich in history, but also rich in advanced innovation. And welcome to the Roan Regional Business Technology Park, a place we now call home for the VW Distribution Center. We could not be more pleased that Volkswagen has chosen Rome County to be the site of their new southeastern distribu distribution facility. It announces to the region, to the state, to the nation, and to the world that Rome County is not only open for business, but it also confirms that Rome County, Tennessee has an unmatched location for national and worldwide distribution and that we are competitive in recruiting businesses and industries worldwide. As you can see, we have a diverse representation here today that we now will call a partnership. Look around, and the person next to you assisted in some fashion to bring us here today. So let us pause just a moment and give ourselves a round of appreciation. There has been much time and energy in this project uh, as we started working on it some uh, 12, 14 months ago. Uh, Leslie said, what's your comments? I said, well, Leslie, when we started this, uh, you had brown hair, now it's gray. <laughs> Uh, Ill did you were blonde and now you're redheaded, <laughs> and Daryl Williams had hair. So, uh, but it has been a long task to get us here, and a lot of time and energy has been invested in this project. To Volkswagen, we say thank you for choosing Rome Regional Business and Technology Park Park as your new distribution center. There has been a lot of work done to date and many more hours of work anticipated to bring this asset into use. And then we will anticipate many successful years of operation. Roan County, we extend our hand of friendship and resources to make this project successful for VW and our community. Welcome. Congressman Chuck Flashman will say a few words, and then our Deputy Governor, uh, Claude Ramsey, who is very familiar with recruiting Volkswagen and their projects. Uh, we would like to welcome them here <coughs> and their remarks, and folks, it's your all support and the Governor's support, and we'd like to thank Governor Bill Haslam and Deputy Governor Claude Ramsey and all their efforts. Mayor Woody, thank you very much for the privilege of being here and welcome from the People's House, the House of Representatives. I'm Chuck Fleischman and I represent the 3rd District of Tennessee. Uh, about a month ago, I had dinner with a friend of mine. The friend is the German ambassador <coughs> to the United States. A few months before that, I had the privilege of inviting the ambassador to Chattanooga to see Volkswagen. And I want to talk about a few things today. But first of all, uh, Mayor Woody, local government is so, so important, and I thank you for your outstanding work in bringing this here. Because there was a county mayor 
in a county where I live called Hamilton County a few years ago who worked tirelessly, and I mean tirelessly, to get an automotive plant on an old site that was vacant for years. And I sat there in my private business and I saw year after year a fellow by the name of Claude Ramsey never give up. Well, I'm here to tell you all today, Volkswagen wouldn't be here today. Volkswagen would not be in Hamilton County today. Volkswagen would not be in the great state of Tennessee today if it wasn't for that county mayor who's now Deputy Governor, Claude Ramsey. <laughs> mayor Woody, you talked about partnership, and it is a partnership between local, state, and federal officials. And every day when I'm in Washington, D.C., I work very, very hard to make sure that businesses are not smothered by undue regulation and unfair taxes from Washington, D.C. Because Tennessee is a business-friendly state. We attract business. We cherish business. But there's some folks up in that crazy city on the hill that sometimes forget that. And I remember that every day. So Volkswagen, I want to thank you all for coming to Tennessee for being in Hamilton County and now being in Roan County, which is now all going to be in the 3rd District, along with Hamilton County. And I want to thank you all for contacting me. When Volkswagen calls and talks to me about things such as ethanol and things like that, I listen and I advocate for Volkswagen because you're a great partner and you're part of the economic boom that's going on in Tennessee. I want to talk about that. Real job creation. And Volkswagen, thank you. Uh, we thought maybe 2,000 jobs to start, 2,500 jobs, 60 jobs here, a $37 million investment right here in Roan County. But what does this mean to our great state? It means indirect jobs as well. It's going to continue to grow as a region. And our great state, through the efforts of a lot of folks, including a former governor and now great senator, Lamar Alexander, worked very, very hard to put Tennessee on the map in the automotive industry. We have tremendous job growth there. So it is my fervent pledge to each and every one of you all that as I do my job in the House as one of 435, I do not forget, and I will continue to cherish, Roan County, Hamilton County, and the great job creators that are doing what you all do every day, bringing good paying jobs to Tennessee. We want you here in Tennessee. We want you to stay in Tennessee. We cherish you, and God bless you for doing what you're doing. And without further ado, the great Deputy Governor of the great state of Tennessee, Claude Ramsey. Congressman, I should have stopped while you were speaking. Because that, that's about well I'm going to do today. I'm, uh, I'm honored to be here with you all today as we celebrate the uh, the new project for Roan County. I, I bring you greetings from Governor Haslam, who couldn't be here today, but he uh, is very much aware of the efforts that have gone on here, and to uh, congratulate you uh, is his wish. <clears throat> to all of you who have worked on it from the local standpoint, thanks for your diligence, thanks for your hard work. Uh, these things don't just happen, it takes a lot of effort. It takes some disappointments, it takes some success for it to come about. And you all have succeeded today, and uh, this is the beginning. 60 jobs, 35, 40 million dollars in investment, and uh, it's more opportunity. You know, as we move forward in, in trying to bring jobs into to Tennessee, uh, as the governor, as part of his program, we've got an emphasis on existing industry. Certainly, we're going to try to recruit somebody from Illinois or, or Germany or wherever the case might be. But it's a case like this where you've got a, a company that's already in Tennessee that's doing business here that we try to try to get to expand and help them expand just as we did when uh, we recruited uh, a new company. And that's something we all should remember, uh, all of us Tennesseans should remember. The same kind of incentives are available for existing industry to expand and grow and create jobs as there is for a company from out of state or out of the country. Those same uh, incentives are here. 
I'm joined today by two commissioners from Governor Haslam's uh, uh, cabinet. Uh, one of them needs no introduction. He's uh, from Rome County, Jim Henry. Jim, stand up. <laughs> Mr. Henry. Mr. Bob Martineau uh, is, is either on his way or here. He's, he's meeting us at the reception. Oh, okay. All right. Mr. Bob Martineau uh, is, is head of TDAC and was very helpful as we worked through some problems on this piece of property uh, to make it happen. But uh, I'm glad to have both of them join us today. You know, I, I, I was thinking, I ran into an old friend as I was coming up the uh, walkway here a minute ago. Uh, that I met uh, when we were recruiting Volkswagen to uh, Chattanooga. Uh, Alex Lee, no. over here, uh, <laughs> law firm uh, that Volkswagen had hired to negotiate with us in Hamilton County and the state of Tennessee for that plant that's now uh, spitting out about 500 cars a day. So we sat down at a table, I believe it was in Dallas, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Dallas, Texas. <laughs> And they introduced these, uh, this law firm from Alabama. Well, we were competing with Huntsville, Alabama for the project. And I said, wait a minute, it's not right. And I questioned Mr. Leith and a whole lot of other folks about their integrity, their intentions, <laughs> and who are they really working for? Because we're competing with Huntsville, Alabama, and, and Volkswagen hires an Alabama law firm to negotiate with us. I thought, I've been thrown in the water before, but this may be one of the quickest dips I've ever had. <laughs> but it turned out very well. I'll tell you this, Alex Leith is a man of his word, a man of integrity, and uh, he was very helpful uh, as we went through the process. I was, I was pleased to see him here and be a part of this project. Think about every job we create in Tennessee. Uh, and I say we create a job in Tennessee, we help private sector create jobs as being another step along the way. I can tell you that more growth will come to East Tennessee and more growth will come because of what we did with Volkswagen in Hamilton County. More growth and more opportunity will come because of what you've done here in Rome County in job creation. It just keeps building. That's one of the good things about uh, the automobile industry. They have lots of spinoff, lots of opportunity. So you'll see other businesses locate up and down uh, this corridor. These, uh, the 40 and 75 come together and uh, it, it, you're in a good spot. So to all who've worked on it, county commissioners, you know, I, I, I used to, uh, I had nine county commissioners and Sometimes they had a little more faith in me than some days they didn't. <laughs> and, uh, but we worked together very well. And I can tell you that you have to work together. And I congratulate you on the efforts you've made here, the Industrial Bond Board, and all who've worked uh, the Rona Alliance and, and everybody who's worked on it. I sometimes say to, uh, to local governments when I speak to them, you need to work together you don't have enough resources to fight each other. You gotta fight for something. Fight for something like you got here, like we got in Hamilton County, like this happened so many other times. But uh, congratulations to Rome County, congratulations to all who've had a part of this. I think we're in a state that's gonna grow and do well, our economy's turning around, and I, I see good things coming for this, this state as, as this economy comes out of the doldrums, I think we're going to be in the right position to, to uh, have uh, business and industry create a lot of jobs. And I'm glad to be a part of that in some small way. Thank you all for, for your investment, Volkswagen. <coughs> we look forward to uh, seeing you grow and prosper. Uh, my dad used to say, I hope you do well because you might give me some of it someday. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope Volkswagen and all of your affiliates do well because you might hire some more people and invest some more money. Congratulations and thank you for investing. <laughs> heard from all of us politicians and that's not the reason we're here today. We're here today because we have a, gov a government 
and a private mm -hmm. sector partnership. Broughton uh, Glover is the executive vice president of After Sales, <coughs> uh, Aftermarket Sales, and he will share with us Volkswagen's vision, I'm sure in the United States, but in Hamilton County, Chattanooga, and here in Roan County. So, Ralton, let's give him a round of applause. He is the one that will be operating this center, and we thank you for all you have done so far, and we look forward to having a great relationship with you. Ralton. Thank you very much, and good afternoon, everyone. Congressman Fleshman, Deputy Governor Ramsey, and Roan County Executive Woody, honorable guests, Volkswagen colleagues, thank you very much for joining us here today. And while they're in session and not here, also our thanks go to the Tennessee State Legislation for their many letters of congratulations, uh, including that from Senator Yeager. Now on behalf of the entire Volkswagen group, I'm delighted to be here in Rome County uh, for the groundbreaking ceremony for our Southeast Regional Distribution Center and Warehouse. Today you find Volkswagen in very, very optimistic mood. Not just because of the ceremony here today, but because of the exceptional year that we had in 2011 and the great start that we've made to 2012. Our business strategy and our growth pillars are paying off and the momentum is building for Volkswagen Group in America. Last year, Volkswagen and Audi sold 400 40,000 vehicles here in the US. It's a 23% increase on 2010 in a challenging automotive environment. That represents <coughs> our best sales since 2002. And crucially for us when we come to investing in projects like this, our sales operation achieved profitability. And it's the first time we've done that in the US since 2003. In the first two months of 2012, we sold 75,979 cars in the US. That is a 34% improvement on prior also. So very much exciting times for the Volkswagen Group. But these figures don't tell the whole story. Our aim is to achieve long-term profitable growth. And in order to do this, we have to lay the foundations to ensure that this momentum continues. Foundations like those be laying here today. And momentum really is what today is all about. To celebrate the groundbreaking of this 400,000 square feet facility here in Rome County. This location is designed to support the continued momentum for Volkswagen and Audi brands in the United States. A vital part in our growth commitment involves providing better service for our retail networks and in turn to the customers that buy our vehicles. This facility will enable us to improve our service and our distribution to our dealers and to the customers. Now, as has already been stated, you know we've made a huge investment and have a large presence in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We now have over 2,700 employees focused on building world-class cars. We've already manufactured over 60 thousand Volkswagen Passats in our state-of-the-art LEED uh, uh, certified Chattanooga facility. Our presence in Tennessee has created jobs, stimulated economic development, and allowed us to bring Motor Trend's 2012 Car of the Year to American consumers. This facility though in Rome County is about more than just the Passat. In 2012 the Volkswagen Group sold over $1 billion worth of parts to our dealers in the US. This facility will support the entire parts demand for 122 Audi and Volkswagen dealers in the southwest of Europe, in the southeast rather of the US. Once fully operational, it will contribute significantly to the Tennessee economy in terms of employment. Construction of this warehouse is going to be handled by Panatoni Construction and represents for us $40 million investment. Money that we'll use to support a network of local, regional, and national partners 
in the construct and outfit of this facility to our standards. We anticipate operations will commence in spring of 2013, aligned to what we see will be the recovery of the, of the ongoing recovery of the automotive market, and is ideally located for the, to suit the demands of our growing customer base here in the South East. The Volkswagen Group operates five parts warehouses in the United States, and this location will add capacity to our existing network to ensure that we can fulfill the growing needs of our dealers and our customers. It will function as the critical support hub for the Passat. Local content of the vehicle in terms of the parts is about 85%, and they're very much concentrated around our Chattanooga facility. But by locating our warehouse here, in Rome County, we've optimally situated the building to function as a redistribution facility because of the great uh, logistics infrastructure that it has in place. We'll be centralizing our, uh, all of our Passat uh, supplier shipments into one location uh, for delivery to the US, Canada and Mexico, but also to the growing list of export markets that will be taking the new Passat also. So our partnership with the state of Tennessee is already an extremely productive one, as has already been voiced some of our esteemed speakers today. And we're delighted to have a new partner in Rome County. Their can-do attitude to business has certainly aided our decision to locate our facility here. We've been embraced by the local business community and we're really excited to be part of the local economy. We're proud to add this location to our growing presence in the state of Tennessee, a place that we're truly proud to call home. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for honoring this occasion. It's a really special day for us. And on behalf of the national, local, and international Volkswagen Group, Panatoni Construction, we really appreciate your support, your continued enthusiasm that will ensure that this facility becomes a reality in no time at all. Thank you very much. celebration but there are a few things that I'd like to do um, and I hope everyone has some champagne um, I first of all I need to introduce myself there are some folks here I guess that don't know me um, <laughs> Leslie Henderson I'm the president and CEO of the Rome Alliance we're the economic development organization for Rome County and I'm telling you we couldn't be happier for this celebration I'd like to do, um, if I could, is ask Deputy Governor Claude Ramsey to come up here with me, and Ron Woody, right here, uh, County Executive, Congressman Fleischman, if you could join me here, and David Webb, the Chair of the Industrial Development Board. <laughs> try to balance this and get this out of the way, okay, for some pictures. Uh, somebody's going to be bringing us some glasses, I think. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, okay. And Mr. Glover, where's Mr. Glover? Please come join us. 
We get the empty glasses, but there will be there will be some excitement in our future. And um, first of all, while we're waiting for our, our champagne celebration, I want to make sure everybody knows that we've got the best staff in the world at the Ron Alliance. Yeah. And here's one of them right here, Mary yeah. Williams, who we decided would be the one to pop the cork on our celebration. So, one, pop it outside, dude, girl. two, three. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.